our emotional equilibrium a lecture program of dr john a youtube what is equilibrium it is balance in a very shortcut and simplest understanding equilibrium is also a maintenance of a sustained force in people Equilibrium is your proper sense of understanding. Your ability to distinguish varied emotions and how to place them in well-defined perspective mentality. Equilibrium does not identify whether life is at its best. And it is not a natural thing that happens in a person, rather, it is a mental thing that necessitates consciousness to muster. In other words, when you get into a most troublous situation in life, to maintain balance emotionally, emotionally, and in all perspective, you've got to be conscious of your equilibrium. Without equilibrium, you will fall. And because it is not an automatic thing, which simply takes place naturally, you and I must be keen enough mentally to administer a balance, so to speak. In other words, when you tripped over a certain object which sends you to fall down, you are quick enough to hold on to something to prevent the fall. If there is nothing to hold on to, you become quick enough in your agility to do the balancing using your physicality. Otherwise, you will fall down, and you may fall, you may fall down hard. Life is a thing of the mind. It is only the people who understand well, who are able to live well, to live life well. Understanding is the property of the mind and not of the heart. But even the feeling of the heart is also a mind thing. In the first place, the heart is being run by the brain. It is very important that you learn QRD, quick, right, deciding. A Utahism philosophy is strong on life as resultant. And there is no accident. What we consider as an accident is in reality not an accident because there is always a cause of all events. And life being resultant lends to the factual understanding that you make your own life. A Utahism concept is quite different from the usual concept that it is God that makes one's life. A Utahism is unique in the perception of the will of God as to saying that everything is happening as God's will. God's will elicits a non-ending argument. In life, it is important that all of us see what is coming. That's why the greatest gift of all is the gift of seeing. And the greatest process of all is the process of thinking. Because everything in life happens very quickly. It is therefore mandatory that we be quick in our perceptions. If you are slow in life, you get caught up with the things of events that you do not have control of. And so, equilibrium is a state where you are mentally awake with a heightened awareness on proper emotionality. Even our health is a mind thing. Our life only gets protected when there is understanding. For one simple explanation, you will get hit by anything if you do not employ a quick perception. That is why when you get mugged, it is not the fault of the mugger why you get mugged. <clears throat> the blame falls on you because 
You should have been perception quick enough to notice your surroundings. Things happen. And things do not necessarily happen for a purpose. They simply happen in such a way. And when things happen in such a way, you be quick to get your balance. The faults are not in the stars, so to speak. But the fault is in the way we think. Mind training is literally mind coaching. It is, well, it is self-protectiveness. Franklin Roosevelt, former president of the USA, once said, We are not a prisoner of fate, but a prisoner of our own mind. What we are now, being that life is resultant in nature, is the result of the way we thought. The catalyst is our perception. A wrong perception tends to a wrong result, which is why Ayutthaya's and philosophies have so much to criticize religion. It is not good to adopt the principles of just believe when you will see. The proper thing should be you should see first before you believe. And this fact is unique because faith is really the beginning of all things. Perception again is ranked in first order. Being that consciousness is responsible for our equilibrium, it is therefore a factual thing that we be keen mentally. Being able to dictate your thinking process is an art. It is not just a natural thing. It is a thing of the sense, thus a sentient capacity a sentient mind. The order is the God Self, the sentient mind, the conglomerate mind, the perspective mind, and the process is not slow. Equilibrium is the property of the sentient mind. It is the sense of being able to balance things out emotionally. Your consciousness drives your chemicals. Why does a deranged person who eats from the garbage survive? It is because of the miracle of the immune system. Without consciousness, the body simply operates normally, and that is without worry. Worry is the greatest killer of the immune system, and that is not 70%. It is recently a 90% thing. You may be eating well and have much money and live in a goodly home, but worry can make your body sick. This tends to prove a hypothesis that it is not just food that makes you healthy or unhealthy, it is your mind. And again, that is 90%. It, also, it is also your kind of consciousness. It is therefore your kind of mind. It is not enough that one is aware. The catalyst is in the kind of awareness. This is the reason why the reason for being programmed is one of the best programs there is around. The reason why the reason for being is one of the best programs is because of these three philosophies. Life is good based. Life is present based and life is development-based. Equilibrium, therefore, is also dependent on the kind of mind that you have. It should be a godly mind and not a religious mind. Simply put, God is not a religious God. In a Utilism philosophies, existence is the most real thing, and that is existence on the earth as a physical human being. The most real thing in a Utilism philosophy is the flesh. This puts up the teaching that the body is not dependent on life. Rather, it is the other way. Life is dependent on the body. As I type these words in the computer, it will look like very distinctly that there will not be a document to be made if it were not of my thoughts in my mind.
which is now very real, the computer or my thoughts, which is now very real, the computer or my thoughts. That is why the religious teachings are normally about the spirit and not about the flesh. To the religious, what is real is what is spiritual. A Yudhism concept is taking spirituality as a given. You do not have to discover spirituality. The reason simply because everything is spiritually based. A Yudhism is very controversial in that the challenge now is not to discover the spirit, but to discover the flesh. Feelings and emotions are coarse always through the tissues of the flesh. Good equilibrium is in the proper mindfulness. Good equilibrium is a mind thing, but, and it is a big but, that there is no equilibrium if there is no flesh. Yes, feelings and emotions are the faculty of the mind, but they are non-existent without the flesh. You take care of the flesh, you take care of the mind. So then, it is perception, awareness, and proper understanding things. The mind is the motor of the flesh. It is not the flesh that serves the mind. It is the mind that serves the flesh and which is now the more important thing. It is the flesh that is the most important thing. How do you live a good life? Take care of the body. Take care of the flesh. To illustrate, you take care of your dwelling place and you'll be able to take care of yourself. The most important of all, of course, is yourself. And that is a given. But you take care of the self if you take care of your dwelling. It is about cooking your food properly as you can be healthy. In the most simplest form, the mind takes care of the flesh for life to be well. Without the body of flesh, there is nothing else. Everything is for the body of flesh. Name it, whatever you name. It is all for the body of flesh. It is in the body of flesh that experience is possible. So do not kid yourself. You better take care of your body of flesh to foster a life. That is, health is first. This is the most truest equilibrium. Real equilibrium thing is the body of flesh thing. But it is, of course, the properness of the mind that is so needed in all these things. The mind is for the proper function of the body and for us to have the proper equilibrium of life. You control anxiety and you will be healthy. Controlling anxiety is maintaining proper equilibrium. Controlling anxiety is mind coaching. And that would be our next subject.